Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. Now we all know that Islam has given the world a lot of things that will be long remembered. They invented the fine art of skyjacking, <laughs> suicide bombers, and taqiyya, the art of lying to infidels. They are the only religion to develop a preschool program where the children sing about exterminating Jews, and I do believe they are the only ones to demolish two skyscrapers while 3,000 people were still inside. Yes, uh, Islam has a long and proud history of doing things that nobody else does. But by far the most creative invention of Islam is the Palestinian, a person who has never been seen before in the modern world who supposedly lived in a nation that never existed. The Palestinian was invented shortly after the nation of Israel sprang into existence as the new name for the traditional home of the Jewish people. Now, prior to the invention of the Palestinian, the Arab nations had been lusting for the land of the Jews because the hard-working Jewish people had transformed that dry, parched desert land into a well-irrigated and beautiful oasis, and the Arabs decided they wanted it. So in the traditional Muslim style, they sent in massive armies to massacre the Jews and steal their land. But the Israelis stomped the living doggy doo out of them and sent the Arabs fleeing back across the border like a bunch of whipped puppy dogs, and they've been afraid of the Israelis ever since. But prior to the invasion, the Arabs warned all the Jordanians, Syrians, and Lebanese living in Israel to get out. They confidently told them that within a few days, they could waltz right back in and take over the homes of the exterminated Jews. But when the Arab armies <laughs> failed to capture even one Jewish home, the Arabs who had left had no place to go. And that's when the Muslims invented the Palestinian. They told the Jordanians, Syrians, and Lebanese that they are now Palestinians, and they were to spread the story that the Jews had stolen their homeland from them, leaving them as poor refugees. Now, the idiots at the United Nations bought that lie hook, line, and sinker, and American liberals, also being idiots, joined right in. And the Palestinian came into existence for the express purpose of causing trouble for Israel. So today, when we hear of liberals whining that the Jews are illegally occupying the land of poor Palestinians, that is nothing but a big pile of horse pucky, and I can prove it. The next time you talk to one of these supporters of the poor Palestinians, ask them a few questions. Like, what year did the nation of Palestine come into existence? What were its national borders, and what year did it cease to exist? Well, since it never existed in the first place, they won't be able to answer you. But don't stop there. Ask them, what currency did the nation of Palestine use, and why is there no history of it? And ask them if they can name one leader of the nation of Palestine prior to Yasser Arafat. Of course, these questions tend to force liberals to face truth. Now, normal people, when confronted with truth, tend to change their opinion if necessary. But don't expect this from American liberals. Truth just makes them angry. Now, it is crystal clear who the good guys are in this conflict, and as an American, I am proud to stand with Israel against the liars and murderers of the Middle East. And as an American, I am ashamed that our liberals tend to take the side of the liars and the murderers of the Middle East. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and God bless America again.